Hey, 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 Stubby here. And we are back on another episode of Chroma Sky 2. So, in between episodes, I have been busy. I have done so much stuff, I might lose track of some of it. But I'm going to do my best to do a little quick recap. Uh, so, as far as my little mob farm is, I automated it. Got the vector plates going. Uh, just the iron spikes for now. And I got the absorption hopper, which gets the experience. And it's doing all right. I need a lot of the bone because I need a lot of white concrete and a lot of glass. Figuring all that out. Uh, I'm still working on relocating this, but I did upgrade it to a diamond so far. I had to work on getting netherrack, which was oh, right here. Lava and redstone. So... That worked out pretty easily. I also had to get Basalt, which was over a cold source, which was just, I just used water in the beginning. Uh, and then I'm going to be probably using water, maybe an ice block in the new setup. But that's what I've got for this so far. I'm working on moving some storage out here temporarily just to give myself a little expanded room because I am out of space in here. As far as integrated dynamics, I've managed to upgrade to these, the squeezer and the drawing basin uh, mechanical. And it really was just a lot of redstone. Uh, the batteries was the big thing. Uh, so I needed, uh, there's like 10 blocks of redstone or something. Uh, the rest of this just came from putting trees in the squeezer and doing it into the regular drawing basin until I got enough to automate my process. I have flattened out a lot of this side, moved my setup just a little bit. I still need to move the farm, and I've set up my four different jars. I still got to work on the automated processes, and I'll probably end up with some more. Uh, if I find a resource like this one right now, is going to be heavy on the lava. So it might just stay as I'll do one specifically for lava. I went to the soul campfire, uh, which was with soul sand was another fun little adventure because I had to do the basalt over with lava uh, which was the reason I wanted the basalt and I ended up getting it so now I was able to get a soul fire and this is the setup I'm using to rock a bunch of lava I got the regular heat I've got the no heat and this is going to be my sub-zero I grew a bunch of cows getting ready to go into uh, the immersive engineering and I was just using the cow seeds Cow seeds were very simple. Uh, it was just hemp and wheat. And for now, I just kind of suck these over here. Uh, I had an issue with the crushers. They don't stop. They just keep filling up. So when I, as I started pulling them out, uh, when I first got each drawer full, and I, I got the crushers back in, or the hammers, uh, as I was taking out, say, sand, it would just keep going, and these ones would never fill it was just something the line just didn't work out so i'm coming up with a new plan i already have one in mind i'm hoping i get there uh, as far as quests are concerned like i said i've i've knocked out uh the iron chest i've knocked out most of the resources just did what i could uh tinkers we are going to get into the kiln and hopefully towards the blast brick this episode Integrated, i gotten this far. Let's go ahead and collect those. Rose gold. Nice. Immersive. Haven't touched it, but we are going to rock on it today. Nature's Aura. I just got the book. Uh, we're not ready for it yet. And I really dabbled in here. I think I had a check mark over here. And Drink Beer is another mob mod I want to try to touch today just to kind of see what we've got so i should have everything ready so we're going to start with that and get some beverages in our bellies so let's see i'm going to need some paper uh at drink we want to make this right here so three leather And some wood, which I am in desperate need of 
organization, which, as you can tell, I've been trying to get to it. All right, let's go chop down a tree. Make life easy. Uh, as far as the sieve has gone, <laughs> I have filled up some of these drawers. I am almost full over here. <laughs> it's just I'm sieving so much that I'm going to have to come up with a sorting system at the end of it. I'm really going to need some nether quartz. Uh, let's go ahead and make this bad boy. We're probably going to want to grow another tree. Not quite sure how much wood we're gonna need, but let's just go ahead and get two trees down. Just to make sure we've got enough. Now we're gonna have to make the keg. We're gonna have to make the beer glasses, which I believe we'll use iron. Let's grab that and let's make our keg. That'll need some slabs. There's the keg, and we'll want to make beer. So let's go ahead and make... Uh, why not? All right, so for the drink beer, you get these recipe cards. And we'll go ahead and put these up in the kitchen area for now. Mm, yeah. And two more. Uh, where do you want to put them? Where do you want to put them? Don't want room for the keg. Just put them like that, and we'll throw the keg down in the middle. All right, so the recipe cards tell you the different recipes. So this is the night howl, which is two bread, water, and a bone. Uh, two wheat, a blaze powder and water, berry wheat, water, so on. And they all have their different perks. If you look at the drink beer, you can kind of see... Uh, haste, uh, haste, fire resistance, fire resistance, regeneration, regeneration, drunk frost walker, hunger, and night vision. So they all give you little perks, but I do think that you can also get drunk off of them. Uh, but we wanted to go ahead and make some of them. So the easiest one to make for us would be the one right here, which is the uh, icy pale, I believe. I have everything for a few of these. Uh, the Milner, so we'll need some wheat and water. And we can go ahead, apple and water, we can make that one. Is that a ice? We can make that one. Haven't made bread yet, but we'll go ahead and get our stuff. So we need some wheat, we're gonna need some water, an apple and an ice. And an apple. Get our uh, get our brew on. Ah, oh, this is exciting. It's a fun little mod. All right, so the first one was two wheat, wait, three wheat, and a water. Right. Does it need to be iron? It does. All right. And the next one we'll do, it will be the, uh, what's the ice one give us? Icy Lager gives us Drunk Frost Walker and the Apple gives us Restoration. So 20 minutes, we can come back and see what that looks like. Oh, wait, it doesn't keep it in there. Okay. 
So let's put that in there. Let's do something silly to transfer the water. Put that in there. We'll put that in there and that in there. There we go. Call that good for now. It's nighttime again. Nighttime always keeps coming on me. Ah. All right. So we get our golden call bell. We get more mugs. And we get, ooh, another keg. Heck yeah. Well, we know what we're going to do with that. You, you, and you. There we go. Let me out. Oh, call bell. Nice. Ah, should have left those up there. Oh, well. Pick this up. I will sort out after this episode. Actually, you two can go in here. And let's look at immersive. So we're going to need to get into the kiln. So we need a couple grout and a compressed sand, which amazingly enough, I believe I have everything already. We need some sand. Uh, you know what? Sorry guys, I want the leather. This is very humane if you'd stop running. Come on. I'm sorry, this hurts me more than it hurts you. I was hired by Chick-fil-A to take out all the competition. That didn't work how I wanted it to. All right, and let's get going. I need more sand. Ha! Didn't count. Uh, what is that? 27 more sand. And there we go. All right, guys. So this will cover that. We'll need a bunch of that. And we got our kiln. So we can go ahead and throw this bad boy up. Uh, you're going to go close to that. But for now, we'll just throw it on this side. It is a 2x2x2 two by two by two multi-block. Just like that. I don't have the hammer on me to form it. Hammer. Oh, you know what? Let's go with one, two. Make some food.
All right, so with this multi-block, nice, look at that, quest completed. We've got ourselves some more Osmium. We have, uh, what is this, five different alloys they want us to make. So we have the redstone ingot, which is going to be a cast iron ingot, and the red alloy, which is pretty simple. So we might as well get ourselves going on all of these. So what we'll do is we'll look up the recipes really quick. And just kind of make sure we have everything ready. So the first one is going to be the iron compound. And that was a cast iron ingot. The next one we're going to make is Electrum, which is going to be a gold and a silver. Gold and a silver. So we'll go ahead and get that smelting. Uh, you can actually go right there. I believe I have you guys right there. Tree can go right there. And Osmium can go in there. All right. The next one is going to be Invar, which is what iron and nickel, I believe. Two iron and a nickel. And the next one is bronze. Three copper and a tin. What color is tin going to be? It's usually like a whitish color. Ah, right there. All right. And Constantin, which would be a copper and a nickel. So we could, let's just put this one back and we'll grab one of those. That should give us enough. Now, we sh I believe we could smelt these in... Yes, we can. So we could, we don't even have to use the alloy. We can just use the smeltery. Come on. Just want to make sure I do these numbers right because not everything added up evenly. I think that will be good. All right, so the first one was a copper and a nickel, so we'll let one come out, and then we'll pop this bad boy into smelt. Ooh, it's taking a minute. And there is our Constantin with two ingots. And we're going to throw in two iron in there. Uh, looks like we actually have to smelt that ingot real quick. So let's just go run up there, get her done so we don't have to worry about it. Thank you for the food. And we should have our Envar. The next one we'll do is we'll just go ahead and knock that one out. Oh, that one will need the kiln. All right. So we did find a kiln specific. I wonder if there's another way 
to make Production smelter kill. That's it. Okay. So we'll go with you and you and you. And I thought I had so. Okay. I believe it was gold and silver. And the tin. We will use with copper. And double check that. Bronze. Dun 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 dun. dun. Oh, oh, we almost missed one. It's in the kiln. Look at that. We have completed all those. Cast iron. We'll get some more gold. We'll get some nickel, tin, and copper. Thank you kindly. So we got to make the conveyor belt, which is iron, redstone, and leather, which somehow, some crazy way, we just got ourselves some leather. I don't know how it happened. It was weird. It just showed up. Uh, I'll take you. We'll go with... I believe this was the recipe. Mm, convey. Ah. All right, look at that. We are just working through this. So the next one I want to work on is Huckleberry, huh? Well, you know, we got to go plant that. That's something different. Not for now. So we want to work on the blast bricks. So the blast brick is going to need 27 molten in front of coke bricks, which is clay and seared stone. So this is where the, the molten blast brick is what's really going to take a moment. Uh, the nether brick we're going to need is going to be from the nether rack, which is lots of redstone. And if I looked at that right, we need six blocks of nether brick. Per one. And then we need 27. Whew. All right, guys. That one is going to take some more automation than I think I had ready for. I didn't realize it was going to be. So it's six blocks times four. So 24 nether bricks times 27. Oh, that's a lot. And then I got to make coke bricks too. So I will go ahead and get all the nether bricks ready and all that. So we just throw it in the smelter and watch it go uh, for the next episode. I don't think, uh, I don't think you guys uh, will mind that too much. So hopefully we'll be good. Let's go check on the timer on our beer. Please show ID. Thank you. Four minutes left.
All right. Well, the other one we're going to get into is Farmer's Delight. So we have so much food in this pack. We have uh, Cooking for Blockheads, which gives us the multi-block kitchen. We have Pam's Harvest Craft, which, just to give you an idea on the food in Pam's. And then we have Farmer's Delight. Now, personally, I am a fan of Farmer's Delight's cooking mechanics. They're just kind of cool. Uh, so we're going to make the cooking pot, the skillet, and the cooking tool, I believe is what we need to make. The cutting board we already have. And so we're going to want to make a new campfire, which will be oh, a charcoal, three sticks, and three wood. And let's look at, at Farmer. So we have the stove that we can make. Uh, I think we will upgrade to that one quickly. We have the cooking pot, which is pretty simple. We'll go get some clay. We'll throw it in the oven. Let's see. For this, we'll want... 4, 8, 12, 16, 18, 19, uh, I believe that's it for now. Uh, and then we have the Pam's tools. So we'll just call it a half a stack. Doesn't hurt to have a little extra brick. And let's see if I have used enough to. Yes, I've been carrying a quarter of a bucket around with me for hours. Right, we do have the stuff for that one. We have to make the wooden shovel, which is sticks and a plank. And a bucket of water. Should put an infinite water source in there. Jeez. Silver. Invar tough handle. And gold. All right, and let's go ahead and make this smoker as well. And when the bricks are done, we can knock out the last item. So did I keep any? Four more logs. And then we wanted to make ourselves the stove. Where'd you go? Three iron bricks. Campfire, and there you go. So when we're using this one, it's just like a lot of the other multi-blocks that you can make. Oh, is that just always cooking? Ha! We could put that up there and cook with that. Maybe we'll make another one and cook with uh, for the pan, the skillet. We have the smoker. Nice. You know, let's just make another one. We've got the stuff. Two stoves ain't going to hurt us, right? 
We'll need a charcoal. Need to go get a tree. Hey, another wandering dang traitor. I don't have any emeralds, so you're useless to me. Another furnace. I didn't really need one. Guess it'll come in handy at some point, right? Can't have enough smelting methods. One more. Ah, oh, man, I'm gonna need more, uh, more clay in there for pamps. I'm using it all. Interesting. Maybe it didn't work on there. Okay. I've done this one over the campfire, and I've never made the stove, so I kind of just assumed. But there we go. So we have our more cooking stuff, which I'll move up to the kitchen. We have our beverages, which should hopefully be done. Look at that. We have our miner. And we have regeneration and haste. Look at that. All right. So we have done that. We have prepped some of the immersive stuff. Tin and aluminum. Nice. So in between episodes, I'm going to get ready for the blast bricks so we can get our steel production up and running. I'm going to push through more of the immersive. Got plenty of the resin, so... Oh. Right here, I want to get through some of the storage integrations really soon. We're going to push through this line right here. And we're going to get ourselves into here. I was looking, and we get into... This is a multi-block assembly, and we're going to need that to make the stuff to get into thermal. That goes in the assembly factory. So, yeah, we're going to get into some craziness. Yeah. All right, so I don't think there's going to be too much other progress in between. I've kind of gotten a good point where I just need to get organized, build up the resources. Maybe we'll get ourselves a backpack. And... I'll wrap it up. So, until next time, I really love that you guys stop by. See you then. Stubby out.